Welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Paul Miki and his companions, all of them martyrs. And I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Our Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Mark chapter 6, verses 53 through 56. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, strength of all the saints, who through the cross were pleased to call the martyrs St. Paul Miki and his companions to life, grant, we pray, that by their intercession we may hold with courage even until death to the faith that we profess through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. All glory to you, O Lord. After making the crossing to the other side of the sea, Jesus and his disciples came to land at Gennesaret and tied up there. As they were leaving the boat, people immediately recognized him. They scurried about the surrounding country and began to bring in the sick on mats. To wherever they heard he was, whatever villages or towns or countryside he entered, They laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch only the tassel on his cloak, and as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. All praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel reading, according to St. Mark, we have a passage summarizing what Jesus was doing for the people. If you remember in last Saturday's Gospel reading, we saw Jesus and the Twelve landing at a remote place by the lake shore to spend a day of quietness and reflection. But as soon as they disembarked, they were met by a huge number of people for whom Jesus, as their shepherd, was filled with the deepest compassion and pity. After teaching them at length, he arranged with his disciples for the 5,000 people there to be fed. After this, the disciples were sent off in their boats to Bethsaida. On the way, they ran into a huge storm. In the middle of it, Jesus appeared walking on the water. When he got into the boat and commanded the wind and the waves, there was total calm. In our weekday readings from St. Mark's Gospel, these two scenes unfortunately are passed over at this point, but they're worthy of reflecting on them. Today's Gospel passage, however, indicates the tremendous hunger of the people to be healed and made whole by Jesus. The people recognize him immediately and go everywhere, bringing along those in need of healing. Jesus, in turn, was visiting all the towns and villages. The sick, strong in their faith, only asked to be allowed to touch the edges of his garment. And everyone who touched him was healed and made whole. Praise the Lord. Let us pray today that our influence on others at home or at work or elsewhere may have a truly healing effect. We carry within us the great miracles of Jesus. He's just waiting to perform especially spiritual miracles in his name. Let us all live in love of our neighbor, so that they know that our love comes from Jesus, something to ponder. After our closing prayer, 
reread the scripture passage and contemplate its message again. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you either through a verse or even just a small word that touches you and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to Him in friendship. Let us complete our divine reading now with a closing prayer. Let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that, drawing strength from your divine word, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all ways. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, if you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. And also, pass along the links to your relatives and friends as well. God bless you all, and have a great day.